Unfortunately, this guy, the investor here, he, uh, he, you know, he got into the game with not enough resources. Apparently, he also ran into financial troubles, and he had absolutely no money to do anything. He's just living there for free because the guy ain't filing for an eviction because he don't have any money. Uh, so what's probably going to happen is if somebody doesn't come in and buy it, the bank's just going to foreclose on it, right? So this price, 54999 totally firm. Welcome to the Investing Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV. Giving it to you straight. All right, y'all. Today's deal, well... Just going to be real with you, man. There ain't no other way I can describe it other than a clusterfuck. Okay, that's what we got for you today. Just a total fucking clusterfuck. And it's a cautionary tale uh, to investors out there. Don't You don't want to be this guy. This guy, he made mistakes, and now he's in a crappy spot. And you got the opportunity to buy something for like a pretty steep discount given the terrible decisions that this guy has made, terrible planning decisions, okay? 4302 Fenwick Ave, Cleveland, 44113. Coming to you at 54,99999, okay? 54,99999, for a house in a neighborhood where the houses are going for well over $100,000, okay? Now, what we have here is a situation where this guy had a tenant in the property, all right, and the footage you're seeing, the footage that we're putting on the screen for you guys, this is what uh, it previously looked like, okay, and uh, we don't have any updated footage for you, though, because what ended up uh, transpiring is uh, the tenant eventually, um, after paying rent for quite a while, uh, they ended up in a situation where they were no longer paying rent. Welcome to real estate, guys. That's, that's what happens in this game sometimes, okay? Sometimes your tenants pay rent, and then something happens, and they don't. And then what you do is you simply evict them, and then you uh, redo the unit, and then you put new tenants in there. Well, unfortunately, this guy, the investor here, he, uh, he, you know, he got into the game with not enough resources. Apparently, he also ran into financial troubles, and he had absolutely no money to do anything. So eventually he stopped paying his property management fees. He stopped paying uh, the bank and he's now facing foreclosure. He stopped paying the utilities. I believe the utilities are being turned off. Uh, and of course he couldn't evict the tenant. So the tenant's just riding it out. The tenant's just living there for free because the guy ain't filing for an eviction because he don't have any money. Uh, so what's probably going to happen is if somebody doesn't come in and buy it, the bank's just going to foreclose on it, right? So this price, 54999 totally firm. There ain't there ain't no option here, okay? The dude literally hasn't been paying his mortgage, and his mortgage payments are like 400 bucks a month. He hasn't been paying the water and sewer bill. Uh, I don't even know. He might be getting friggin' foreclosed on in the house he actually lives in. So you guys can't offer less because he doesn't have the money to come to the table, right? So the bank needs what they need, okay? Uh, so it's got to be 54999 and as far as like inspections or contingencies, none of them, dude. Uh, we got no control over the tenant, uh, Holton Wise. We can't do anything to the tenant um, because the owner hasn't paid us either, okay? So there's no money here, right? If you guys want to go to the property, knock on the door and discuss things with the tenant, see if you can get any insight from the tenant, knock yourself out. You could do that. It doesn't bother me. It's got nothing to do with me, but it's going to be between you and the tenant. If you knock on that door or you show up to their house and they shoot you, that's your problem, not my problem. you got to proceed with caution, okay? But what you got here, what you'd get if you choose to buy this property for less than half of what properties in this neighborhood are going for, uh, you're going to get a tenant who's been there for like five months, hasn't paid rent in like four or five months, and uh, I don't know what the current condition of the house looks like. I don't know, uh, you know. It's just a whole bunch of unknowns, right? That's the risk you got to take if you're trying to get a severely undervalued property, right? So we're going to need cash offers only with no contingencies, okay? So when you are at the point of doing your due diligence where you are ready to put up a non-refundable earnest money deposit and take this thing, no questions asked, at that point, you could reach out to my team, sales at holdenwise.com. If you would like to do your due diligence. You could do whatever the hell kind of due diligence you want. Do not contact me if you haven't finished all the due diligence you want to do because we're not taking the property off the market 
based on a contingency of an inspection or the tenant being removed or financing or this or that. I don't want to hear from you until you're ready to put up non-refundable earnest money and you have proof of cash to be able to take this deal down. No financing, no contingencies. You want to go to the house, talk to the tenant, knock yourself out, okay? And then reach out to me and get ready to buy a deal drastically below what it should be worth because you have an owner with poor financial planning skills who ended up way over their head, didn't have reserves. And just take this as a cautionary tale for you guys. If you are like literally on your last dollar and you need the tenant to pay their rent to pay your mortgage, bro, that's not how you build a business, folks. You cannot rely upon one low-income tenant paying their bills for you paying your bills. Because if you do, you'd end up in this guy's situation. And I tell you, this ain't the right situation because he's got a whole lot of people coming after him for money. He owes a lot of people money. He owes me money. He owes the utility companies money. He owes the bank money. Uh, not looking good for him, okay? So... Because of that, because he can't do anything, he can't evict the tenant himself and get and, and you know capture his actual value, his real equity here. Because like, dude, if we had this property empty, like the day this property goes empty, the value probably shoots up fucking forty thousand dollars. <laughs> but he don't got the money to do any of that, and he's only got a short period of time to sell this before the bank comes in and takes the house. So. You do what you got to do, y'all, then send me your offers. Sales at HoltonWise.com. And when I say send me your offers, I say send me a cash offer with non-refundable earnest money deposit, and the offer better be $54,999. Don't send me $52. Don't send me $51. Don't send me $48. I don't care. I'm probably not even going to reply to you if you send me anything other than $54,999 with non-refundable deposit, and you're ready to close in like 10 days. Boom. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.